not too bad in general to be Hi there everybody, welcome back to the Walkie Brew welcome if you are new. My name is Emily um, and I'm currently a first year student at Sheffield Town University. I live in halls, I live in, hmm, I'm not going to tell you which halls I live in actually, that might be a safety issue. But I live in halls and today I'm going to give you a flat tour of a first year halls. I mean, halls is halls, it doesn't matter what year you are. So we're going to start outside the flat, so if I get a bit whispery when I'm outside my room, it's because it is 9 o'clock in the morning and I know all of my flatmates are asleep. <laughs> Ugh, it stinks of bin out here. So I live on the fifth floor of my building, which is the top floor, um, and there are five people in my flat, including me. But here's my front door. This is what the hallway looks like. Not mine. Not mine, not mine, not mine. Kitchen, my room. We have a very big hallway, not many people's hallways look like this. There's rubbish, there's a beach ball. Down in this little section is mostly mine. We have my heated area, my laundry basket, my suitcase, the ironing board that came with the flat, my washing powder, our recycling bin, my piano, my filming stuff, and a Christmas mat. I stuck a hook onto this wall. I keep my main coat, umbrella, apron. This is a friend, she needs to come and collect it. And here's my room, and it sounds welcome. Oh wow, it's all ready. So the back of my front door <laughs> looks like this. This I got from Walco, best investment of my life. Keep all of my different coats, hangers, and my bag, my everyday bag on this. So as you walk in, you have the bathroom immediately on the left with more overdoor hooks. Here's my calendar. And here's some information on flags of the world. Here's the two hooks I got with the room, so I keep my dressing gowns on there. Here's the beginning of my mega wall. This is my wardrobe. Um, it looks like this. And then down here we have cubbies, so I keep my bottoms down there and underwear there. And then on this top bit I keep pyjamas and stuff that doesn't really need to look good. In this... You'd think it's my dirty laundry, but it's not. That's where I keep blankets and bags. She's got here. They are all my reusable shopping bags. This is where I keep my dirty laundry in a bag, which does fold up. My wardrobe and I have a fight daily on closing it because it's hooked over and I have to kind of close it in a very specific way and then it will actually close. I have way more shoes behind, but they're just one these less frequently. Here is some stuff. Um, that needs to go home. And here is my radiator. <laughs> mirror. I actually really like the length of this mirror. Look how sexy I look. And I put these little fairy lights around it. This is the room in full. I have pictures from most of the places I've been. The most frequently asked question when people see this is how long did it take? It took me about a day. And then it probably took me about another eight hours printing all the photos, organizing them into what place they were at. But yeah. So there's that. We'll go back to the wardrobe and we'll do the other side. We have my bedside table, which is a total mess. Always a glass of coke there. This is the best thing I've ever bought because, let me show you, I do have a main light switch for my main lights um, here by my bed, but I like to fall asleep to dimmer lights. Um, so I have, I bought these remote, I was actually bought an Alexa originally for it, but it didn't work because I'm on, because I'm not on a private Wi-Fi. Um, so they didn't work. So I bought these, which are actually the best thing I bought. They come with three plugs that you plug things into. So I know number one is this lamp, which I usually will have to fall asleep to, and that's number one plug. Number two is my um, oil diffuser, which I only use for turning off, because sometimes if I have it on for too long, I can get a bit of a headache. So if I'm falling asleep and I'm getting a headache from one of the oils, um, I will just turn it off using this one. Usually it's always on I because I have to turn it on at the actual item as well as at the plug this just turns on and off at the plug and then my third one is these ones because these are actually there is no switch for these lights it's just a plug so I put the plug into my remote plug so that I can have a switch to turn them on and off rather than having to plug them and unplug them all the time yes they've fallen no, I'm not going to fix it. <laughs> they looked perfect when I first got them. This is my hanging plant, which I put in on the first day and still hasn't fallen on my head in the night. This is my board, which I wrapped. I will insert a picture of how the boards originally looked. I did the same thing in the kitchen. I wrapped them in wrapping paper because they're just an awful, ugly purple colour. 
Like, the curtains are awful, but I'm not changing the curtains. That's so much effort. Um, it's my bed. It's a three-quarter bed. And if you lift the mattress up, I actually bought a mattress topper because our mattress was really uncomfortable and squeaky. But I actually bought a three-inch memory foam mattress topper, which honestly has changed my life um, and has made me actually able to sleep on this bed. <laughs> this section underneath, which I keep a basket, which is awful, of books. This extension cable has my phone charger and the lights that I just showed you. That's my headphones there. And that actually goes under my bed. Um, because the only plug sockets are here. This bed, if you lift the mattress up, it actually has storage compartments. So I store a lot of my stuff in this part of the bed. You can kind of see here, you lift this white bed up and you can store things in there. So I have that wire running on top of the storage lids and underneath the mattress. Here's a blanket that my mum knitted for me, which actually is probably one of my favourite parts of this room. Got some dumbbells down here for my weightlifting a bin which doesn't come with room just for the record I had to buy that these wrapping papers are leftovers from wrapping my boards they were reduced from primark so these are my four plugs one has the printer which doesn't work one has the lamp which i just showed you and then these two both lead to extension cords so this one goes to the extension cord of the bed and then the one next to it goes to this extension cord which is a total mess but this has my diffuser laptop hair dryer and a few spare plugs and also my toothbrush charger because little did i know they don't have toothbrush chargers ports in your bathroom so you have to buy an adapter and um have it up here which is interesting my diffuser putting eucalyptus in it is amazing when you have a cold i just love it and it's also a really good alternative because obviously in halls and in most rented houses you can't have candles um so i love having this and i have all these scents and oils to make it smell nice in here as well so this is my desk it has a hidden compartment here or I keep on top of it, I keep my hair dryer and electricals in an empty folder. This is my gym stuff down here. And here is extra hair stuff, extra bedding, and my cooling mat. And um, my desk is quite neat, I have these lights here. Under here, large whiteboard that I've not used since my A-levels, a step, and my massive uh, binder of greeting cards. So here we have my desk with my brick and printer, um, iPad with some papers for uni, some basic stationery, post-it notes, as you can tell I've been editing. <laughs> My laptop's up and I have a few games and some medications. Purse with a Sainsbury's receipt. Skincare zone. Um, because there's not much room in my bathroom. Makeup. And then I have these two, um, shelf things which I just use dec decoratively. While I store some notebooks and textbooks and colouring books there. Light up mirror. Alarm clock. And this is where I keep my pencils, colouring pens, because I really like to colour it. Calming. It's a calming activity. <gasps> is that snow? I don't think you can see it, but it is serious. it's snowing. I can't even open my window. My window only opens like this. I can't open it any more than that. And then here I've got three drawers. So here I have skincare, hair care, body care. I have all my palettes, my hairbrush, hair bubbles, deodorants and sprays. In here is all my stationery, blue tack staples, sharpies and that pencil case. My curtain missed out my pen pot. There's a pen pot. <laughs> Tape, things, all sorts of stuff. And then under here I have some bedding, some spare towels and snacks. And spare paper for the printer, which doesn't even work and stuff. So it's not that exciting. Here I've got some more pictures. This is the view out of my window which I actually love because I never realised Sheffield had so many hills and you can see this way better at night but up there there are hills and you can see the cars like coming down and up and it oh you can definitely see the snow now look at that it's just so soothing I just love watching the cars coming down those hills especially at night already in the morning when they've got the headlights on and stuff and it's just I absolutely love it now let's go into the bathroom with my tiny shower with my razor and shower stuff in it this is a tiny bathroom there really is not much space so i bought this it's got spare shower gel face wash um flannelly things and my main face wash there's a face mask i use face wash pre-cleanser coconut oil which i love using toothpaste i keep on there so uh, i actually use soap for shaving more than anything so i don't really know why it's there <laughs> that usually lives in my shower hand wash toothbrush and here I keep lady products and cleaning products and some bin bags. It's a small bathroom, it's a very small shower, but that's what you expect in halls. I actually like my shower. And it turns out we have an extractor fan in here, which we thought was broken for the first term, semester, whatever you call them. That's really it, that's all the reason here. That's our bathroom. Now I'm going to show you my 
kitchen living area. The annoying thing about these lights is that this is the bathroom one and that's off right now and this is the bedroom one and this is on right now so to turn the bedroom one off I have to do that which is annoying because this is weird I can't use this if these lights are off on that switch they can't turn on on this switch so if I turn off on this switch they will only turn back on on that switch as well and same with this if I turn it off on this switch and try and turn it on by that switch it won't work it's so complex anyway let's go into the kitchen I will warn you I'm a mega space hogger I'm the flatmate's worst nightmare <laughs> So there's our very overloaded bin. It seems that we were throwing breadsticks at each other last night. That's exactly what we were doing. Yeah, I've still got some lights up here from Christmas, but we decided to keep them. Oh my God. <laughs> Just gonna take this down. I made shelf decorative. Of course it's all me. I wrapped these boards. Sofas, very dirty. Um, cone, scaffolding pipe. Here's our other one. Again, I wrapped it. Kitchen, stomachs, I bought that freezer, I bought that fan, crutch, don't know where that came from. My cupboard that I use, <laughs> this is mostly all mine, this is all mess. I also brought this, which is mine, 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 bought that, also mine that I steal, that stuff's all mine, that stuff's all mine, I even use the stuff in this cupboard. I use up so much space, but no one seems to moan about it, so it's all right. In this cupboard, keep plates, this cupboard I keep utensils, this cupboard is where I keep food, I also keep food in that cupboard as well, in the back cupboard I keep drinks, but fresh food I keep up here, they're all drinks, that's kind of it really, I want to keep my utensils on the wall there, love that one, anyway, I'm going to go because my battery's about to die, but thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed seeing what it's really like in halls and how messy it always is, as well as our bags down the side of the fridge, and um, I'll see you in the next video, please do subscribe if you enjoyed, and um, yeah, have a great day, be kind to somebody. I can't even breathe in here anymore. It stinks. Oh, it stinks. And it's not actually the bins, it's just the kitchen in general. It just smells. It's very weird. And the snow has stopped. Wow. Okay, have a great day. I'm going to probably nap now because I'm a student. <laughs> Alright, have a great day. Oh, stop. Stop. I'm having a mess. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.